Hey YouTube, thank you for subscribing. Um, I've been seeing a lot more people subscribing and watching the video on the Art Easel. And because of that, I decided to do a second one where I show upgrades. Um, let me tell you a quick rundown of the things you'll need to do, uh, especially if you're retrofitting it. First things first is you will need to be able to take off this bottom plate and the top plate and remove your conduit. Um, the conduit will also need to be sanded. You want to sand your conduit with 150 grit sandpaper and then work through 220 up to 300 grit. So it polishes, to a degree anyway, uh, polishes your, your conduit. Um, the other thing is you want to replace the top and bottom plates. Um, I would suggest going maybe just a little bit wider to where they're spaced out a little bit further. It's just a little bit better for stability. Um, but on your top and bottom plate, you want to use an 11 uh paddle bit to drill your holes. And if you can get access to a drill press, it's much nicer. Take the time, line those up, measure them out so they're all, the top and bottom plate are identical and spaced properly. Uh, the more parallel they are, the better this will work. So 11 15ths on that. Let me show you how nice of a glide this is on the new version. I'm just going to undo this a little bit until it starts moving on its own, of its own weight. Let's see here. Okay, I think I got it. That's it on its own. That's just from its own weight. Um, in the old version, you couldn't get that kind of movement. You'd have to move it around. Which means that essentially what you're getting in this version is something you can adjust with one hand. Uh, I did have to change the clamp mechanism and separate that from the slide mechanism. Um, one quick note, I made the mistake of using a single strap EMT fitting here and you want to use the two hole strap. Uh, so I'm going to be changing that out. But uh, this is a one and one quarter inch two strap EMT uh, conduit strap, so uh, just so you know. And this piece right here, you can find it in your plumbing section. Uh, Menards had it, but Home Depot didn't. It's some sort of PVC union, and it will fit, this is a three quarter inch one, and it will fit right over your um, conduit. You will have to slide them over the conduit before you glue the conduit and everything in place because you can't get it off or put it on afterwards once it's set. Um, anyway, the inside structure has a rubber gasket and you may need to sometimes pull this out and kind of realign it before you screw this back down. You only have to do this once in your setup. Once it's aligned and tightened right, it should work as a very nice glide and you shouldn't really have to mess with it after that. But anyway, uh, you tighten this down and that works on a compression so the ring will tighten slightly and give you just enough travel to where it'll maintain a nice straight uh, linear movement. The only other, uh, I guess, uh, modification that I had to do is I had to move the clamp mechanism, I had to make it a separate clamp mechanism versus integrated into the slide mechanism. My other one, it was all one piece. The new one, I had to put the simple clamp mechanism of a bolt and a piece of wood that just kind of compresses around that conduit. It had to be put below or above the slide mechanism. So I do have this little extension piece. I'll show you from the front here in a second. Um, that kind of pushes that below Let me go around. Here, I'll show you on top, it's a single mechanism up here. But essentially, you can see that slide mechanism. I got a small slat of wood, and this piece actually comes up off of this uh, top plate, so it's above that. And it's literally just a bolt, which is epoxied in the back of that piece of wood. 
and it's on the one side and I got a smaller piece of wood on the front side. You actually don't even need that on the smaller one. It's just because I have such a heavy duty one here that I had two pieces of wood to clamp between. Just the compression of pulling up against the back side should be enough for most canvases though.